We'll move on to District 4 now, and we'll first hear from the Democrat in that race, Marty Danzer. Good evening. I'm Marty Danzer. I'm seeking re-election for District 4 Carroll County Supervisor, which is the southeast quadrant of Carroll County. I'd like to thank the Chamber and Carroll Broadcasting for sponsoring this event tonight. Um, I'd like to, I was born and raised in Carroll County. Um, I have a wife, Lisa, of 26 years. I uh, have three children. Courtney is 24, just graduated from Iowa State in May. Heather is 21, is just going for physical therapy at Iowa State. And then I have a son, Nathan, is a junior here at Carroll High School. My previous experiences include uh, 20 years for the soil conservation, which later was turned over to the Natural Resource Conservation Service. And then I served on other uh, Ag Boards of Directors as chairman for several entities. And I have also stayed, served on state and local committees prior to the supervisor hire. I've been farming in Carroll County for 34 years. I continue to farm just southeast of Carroll. I have a corn, soybean, small grain, hay, and cow calf operation. At the current time, I, as a supervisor, I serve on the Westco Board over in Denison, which is similar to New Hope Village. Uh, Carroll County Solid Waste, I'm the chairman on that board. Region 12 Council of Governments, I'm the chairman on that board currently. Also serve on the Carroll Communications Center, and then also Hundred Canyons RCMD, which is a conservation entity for stream bank stabilization. And then Les Hills is also a conservation RCMD. I'd like to thank you, the citizens of Carroll County, for letting me serve you in the past and would like to continue to serve you in the future. Thank you. Now we'll hear from the Republican for District County Supervisor District 4, Jared Waddle. I was born and raised in Coon Rapids. My parents are John and Lisa Waddle. They've been a Coon Rapids resident for 32 years. Uh, my dad has been the longtime head baseball coach for the Crusaders. Uh, after attending Luther College, I decided to move back to Coon Rapids. I work as an insurance agent, and also I've recently become athletic director for Coon Rapids Baird. Uh, that's been a blessing. I have loved every minute of it, and I've enjoyed meeting the kids and parents of Coon Rapids. I'm a member of the Carroll County Connect Young Professionals. I'm also a member of the Coon Rapids Rotary. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm a hardworking and passionate, no matter what the task is. It's killing me right now that we haven't, nobody stood up, because I really want to stand up right now, but uh, I don't care if it's a school board meeting, a conference athletic director meeting, watching my fantasy football teams, or cheering on the Crusaders. I'm a passionate person no matter what task I take on. I will put the time and energy into doing anything right. The number one thing I've come away with on my campaign trail is talking with residents and especially seeing the Carroll Area Development Corporation come to the supervisor meetings as they want to stem the tide of the aging population in Carroll County. I came back to this county and I feel that I am the ideal candidate. Like I told the Carroll Rotary, I'm, made, I'm the ideal candidate, but not the perfect one, because I do not have a wife and four kids. <laughs> I want to partner with the CADC and to come up with some solutions. And the biggest solution to bring young people like me and also families back to Carroll County is jobs. Carroll, the Carroll County is going to have to aggressively seek economic opportunities. I do not have all the specifics right now, but things like job credits, job tax credit, excuse me, tax abatement should be looked at. The county needs to fully get behind the Iowa Home Base project. I think that getting veterans back here would be a great thing if we can lead and be a vocal county that would put us ahead of the game. I'm a big promoter of Coon Rapids and CRB, and I would be a great promoter and representative of Carroll County. It's time for our younger generation to start becoming the next generation of leaders. Also, it's been 45 years since anyone from Coon Rapids has served on the supervisors. I really want to say it's no taxation without representation. Jared, we're going to have to wrap up the answer. All right. I would appreciate your vote for District 4, uh, the next supervisor for District 4. Thank you.